I'm going to run to the paint store and get more paint for the Malibu. Originally didn't plan to paint the whole front and rear bumper. So I got a pint of paint, which is pretty much two pints because you use it's half and half with reducer. Um, so I had two pints of paint, but it's probably only enough to do the whole front rear bumper, maybe the fender. And then I still have the whole quarter panel to do. So I'm thinking if I get a half a pint, uh, I should have enough to cover it. I don't know. I'm not a professional. <laughs> but I got a whole quart of this. Yes, this is in a quart jug, but there's only a pint in it. That's just how they mixed it for me. Um, so I got a whole quart of this adhesive primer. I'm going to try this. I do not know how it works. I don't know how it's going to turn out. But I'm going to do both the front and the rear bumpers in this. So um, hopefully we get a good bond. We'll see how it works. I, I mean, you guys are going to learn with me. So, yes. Always a learning experience here on Unwrecked. The best unknown channel on YouTube. Dig it! And yes, I have a huge mess that needs cleaned up before I can even start priming. Um, but have you guys watched the Z videos? The interior made a complete transformation. The ins I mean, this thing is freaking awesome inside. I love it. It makes me excited for this now. And it's just, it's all coming together. And the front bumper is on the way here on a Greyhound bus. I got one. The RSX bumper came like that. I have to drive an hour to go to the Greyhound station to go pick it up. But it was in really good condition. So um, I guess it's a cheap way of shipping things. And uh, yeah. So <laughs> let me show you the inside of the Z because I just, I, I love it because I couldn't believe how clean it turned out. Minus the cigarette burns on the seats. Top notch. I'm telling you. And also, I got my door speaker, and it's in. This thing, the, the sound quality, and these speakers really filled in the sound back here. And it's kind of muffled because they're behind the seats, as you can see back there. But, I mean, it just fills the sound in perfect. And the, the sound quality coming out of this, I love it, I'm telling you. I just sat in this thing for like an hour today, and I watch YouTube videos and stuff. <laughs> Yes, I do have a charger hooked up, but <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's great. So I am going to clean up my mess today because I want to have the car covered because I don't want to get any overspray on this. I got dust all over it, but that's nothing. Overspray, that's a different story. I don't want to get that all over it. This, I, I, don't, I don't even care about this stuff right now. I can't believe that I have not sold this engine. I had the engine and a transmission online for sale for $500. I would even take an offer, and it's, I, I can't believe it. All right, so since they had this in a quart jug, uh, there was only a pint in there he had it. He just gave me another half a pint, $23. Not too shabby. Paint's not the expensive part. It's everything else that goes with it. So I already have a bunch of reducers, so we got enough to do that. Also, uh, Thomas Zachman from New York, uh, thank you. He sent... Cat treats for Stewie and Stella. That was nice of him. And they loved it. In fact, Stella went nuts over it. And she was trying to steal Stewie's. And it's normally the other way around. So, yeah, they both really liked them. Well, I got off on a tangent on these things. Notice how they're not on? I know that's not what I'm doing in this video. But I messed with them and messed with them. Uh, the fuse is fine. The daytime running light fuse is this 10 volt or a 10 amp one right there. It's fine. Um, so, yeah, um, they both work. I was skeptical of this one because it had a hole in the light. I super or uh, hot glued the back of it and sealed it off. But uh, there's some rust and corrosion in there on the circuit board. But if I hook it straight to the battery, it works. It all of it works, and that one works too. If I hook it straight to the battery, so. Uh, I'm, my suspicion is it has to do something with the BCM. Uh, both wires were ripped out. This one was ripped out completely. This one, 
they were ripped out and the wires were together in this tape right here on the harness so uh, it had them together touching together so I don't know if it fried a harness fried wiring I have ground on both sides I'm just not getting power and the fuse is fine and it's not feeding power to the fuse so my suspicion is the BCM uh, I'm not replacing the BCM so being that they only need 12 volts to run I'm just gonna run it into the marker lights or something like that so I just did a massive cleaning of the garage which I only got about a quarter of it done but we are to a part right now where I can paint these bumpers, but I just noticed there is still sanding dust all over them. Great! So instead of blowing these off, I'm going to get the vacuum cleaner over here and suck the dirt off. And then I'm going to wipe them all down and stuff. Uh, I draped some plastic over that made sure I covered everything on this because I don't want any overspray on it. I'm not really concerned with anything else. I'm trying to get it nice and warm in here. I'm going to open up that vent fan and I'm also going to put my filters in the door so we're going to have to get some coats on this before it gets too cold in here uh, or it's just not going to dry so I'm going to go over these with a vacuum like I said make sure I get all the dust off of them the back bumper actually I don't see any I must have already wiped it down I don't see dust on it there's just dust all over the front bumper yes I can if you see some of that sanding dust so I'm gonna get all that off there then uh, we're gonna wipe everything down twice and then I'm gonna get out the adhesive primer that I have and we're gonna go over these So I'm feeling pretty good about this. We're sitting pretty good. I got three decent coats on the front bumper and two on the back bumper. So uh, it's going to be fine. I got full coverage. It's just that I got to watch when I'm sanding it tomorrow because these are going to need sanded. So we get a mechanical bond since I'm going to let it sit overnight. I used the entire can of that adhesive primer. So... 
hopefully that's a good bond now you can see like i said this bumper is not perfect you can see some of the body damage still visible but you don't see cracks in the paint uh you're not going to see the paint flaking hopefully it's pretty good that's where i did that body work like i said it wasn't perfect either it's a little bit of a dent there oh well front bumper looks pretty dang good with that coat on it over here is where i did most of the body work and that plastic welding and stuff and that looks pretty dang good it's not perfect but it looks pretty good so uh also did some down here like we were cracked right there that looks decent i'm happy with that you know whatever i just wiped this down so tomorrow uh this is already scuffed i'm gonna wipe it down one more time we got to scuff those wipe them down and then i gotta mask this off tomorrow and what i feel pretty good about was um i actually turned the heater off because i had it warm in here i mean really warm and uh <laughs> when i put the filters in and i put the exhaust fan over there on low it wouldn't even it wouldn't even spin because there was so much heat uh trying to escape that it would not let the fan <laughs> spin so i had to put it on high power and then even after that it really did not cool it down in here it didn't start i couldn't really notice the temperature drop until i was on my last coat of this already and i already had it so warm in here that the coats were drying pretty pretty decently fast so we're gonna do that again tomorrow and then what i did it was getting like really you can see the vapor in here like it was getting cloudy i opened the garage door and it cleared out like within a minute put the garage door back down it's still warm in here in fact it's too warm in here i'm about to start sweating so the concrete held the heat in so that's what i'm gonna have to do tomorrow is let the garage warm up real good and what i'll do is i'll mask everything off on the car i have to mask it with the doors open because of doing inside the door jams there's only a couple spots but still i'm gonna have to paint it with the doors open so we got to mask the whole inside of the door panel and the outside and you know block off everything so we don't get any paint on the interior i might wipe this down tonight just to uh get a good clean on it and then uh tomorrow we're gonna have to wipe it all down again yeah so it sucks i i <laughs> it sucks having to paint here because i'm just not set up for it and i had to drain the compressor again i had to put new desiccant in the uh filter and it's already starting to change color. I will tell you that I am getting a uh, refrigerated air dryer. Harbor Freight sells one for $3.99. I was just kind of waiting for it to go on sale in June. It went on sale for $2.99. I wish I would have seen it then. But it's basically like a dehumidifier. Like you would put in your garage or whatever to keep the moisture down. But your air lines run through it. And it cools the air and drains the water out of it. And... They are highly effective. So I'm going to get that. And I'm still going to run my desiccant and stuff. So then I can kind of monitor how much moisture is getting through. But I have a whole bunch of that desiccant. So um, it, it should uh, last me for a while. I get this Malibu done. And uh, it's going to be for sale. And the Subaru is going to be for sale pretty much same time. I know you guys are going to be sad to see the Subaru go. But... Uh, I need to make room. I can I can only register so many cars, guys. Like I, I mean, I wish I could keep all these cars, but you just you can't do it. <clears throat> you get something better, you got to move on to that. So the Scion is like my reliable go-to in my work vehicle. It has surprisingly way more room than you would think. The back seats, it 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 has as much room as a four-door, but it's a two-door. I just really like the car, and it gets me everywhere, and I've it's never left me anywhere. So and the Subaru has done the same thing, but turbocharged engine not as reliable i guess if you run them easy but every time i get in it i just want to i just want to go and get tickets nice it is paint day and the garage is warm i need to get these sanded they turned out really really good this is that adhesive primer uh or adhesive slash primer whatever you want to call it a little bit darker than the Transtar primer I use so I don't know how that's gonna affect the color but uh, you get enough coats on there hopefully it's gonna be about the same so 
I'm gonna get this all sanded up real quick. Then we need to continue masking off the car. I did wipe everything down last night and uh, we're gonna have to wipe everything down again. And we got a lot of masking to do over here. But we're gonna get this all done. And uh, what else, what else? Oh, this is the gun I used to paint the last, the, the Cobalt bumper. And that's the new one I just bought. Um, being that that one's new and I haven't used it yet, I'm gonna spray the color with that one. Since this one's already kind of set, I'm gonna spray the, the color with that so I can get it set right. It's a lot easier to see, to set your pattern and stuff whenever you're shooting color instead of clear. Uh, but then we're gonna do the clear with this one. It's warmer in the garage right now than it is in my house. So, it feels great in here actually. <laughs> Sanded everything, wiped everything down, wiped these down two times, uh, wiped the car down again and the fender down again, which I already did last night, but I did it again. Um, these, th this uh, adhesive primer, it, it sticks good, but it's not thick, so you have to watch when you're sanding it. Uh, it would have been ideal to spray over this with a filler primer, then you can sand it down easy. I use 400, I probably should have used a scotch Bright pad or... 600 or something like that to scuff it up but 400s the quickest and easiest way to do it and i burnt through in a couple spots no, nothing crazy there's still paint under the areas that i burnt through so uh it's gonna be all right it's just as long as there's not bare plastic as you can see i was very light with when i was sanding it like i was barely putting any pressure down so both of these are done um uh, that's done now I just need to mask the car off completely and uh, get it ready and then it's time to spray I'll admit my masking is probably not the best but we got this all mask off that way I'm not spraying inside the car um, I need to wet down the floor there's actually some dust on the floor for me spraying that primer last night but uh, as long as I spray it down with water get it nice and wet I'm gonna get spray all this floor I do have a pump sprayer I'm gonna use that but everything's wiped down thoroughly I did wipe the car down again after putting this on because there was a there was dust on the car and uh, I didn't want to end up having dust in my paint so I just went over and wiped everything down again even after redraping everything so this looks like a mess but I don't see where it could get in anywhere maybe it can i don't i don't know this is this <laughs> i'm gonna try not to spray directly down in there all right well it's go time it's game time biz notches
Pretty successful day, I would say. What do you think? Here I am again, yet impressed with another paint job of mine, but it came with a cost. Ashley was a little upset with me because the house now smells like paint, and so did the gym while she was upstairs training, so it kind of interfered with her work. That being said, if I'm gonna do this again, I need to find some different way to do it. Unfortunately for the Z, I think I'm just going to have Jerry do it. There's just way too much it's going to need painted. And th th I mean, what I did here was a lot, but this is a lot more. And those filters just kept up. Like, the, I'll, sh I'll show it to you. So you can see the moisture in that one. Kind of, yep, there's moisture in it. And then this turns pink as water gets in it. You can see it's already pretty much pink. Uh, a little bit bluish at the bottom, but that's pretty much to the point where you need to change it and I have a good bit, but still um, I've drained the tank several times It's just like and I still got some small fish eyes. I, honestly, this is a really good paint job I, I'm not knocking it at all whatsoever this quarter panel. Oh my god. I can't believe how good that turned out like <laughs> that mm. It looks like some professional body shop did that. <laughs> now, there are small imperfections, but like I said, the, the white hides a lot of imperfections. So, like, I can still see a, a, a crease there. It's probably something I needed to sand out. Uh, this is not perfect down here. This arch is... Actually, that, that arch is pretty dang good. That, that actually looks really good. And so does that look really good. But there's little specks in the paint here and there. It's not perfect. Um, it, But yeah, this, this thing's going to look awesome when it's done. So, uh, Profit also took um, non-reduced paint. I just used what was in the can with a touch-up brush and went down over all these marks on the door uh, that I had put the self-etching primer on. So, as you can see, it's not perfect, but I mean, it, that paint actually blends in really good. I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm surprised. So anyways, that's going to be the end of this episode. So I already started reassembling this thing. And let me tell you, this thing looks marvelous. Pretty happy with the way it's turning out. It's partially assembled. But we're going to do the full assembly on the next video. So if you like this video, hit that like button. Consider subscribing. Hit the bell so you get notifications. Hit that dislike button if you just can't match paint colors. See you on the next episode of Wrecked. the heat just come on so where are we gonna find this precious little nugget soaking up the heat look at you oh don't he said don't touch me to bite me what is that I gotta clean that tail don't want to disturb oh Oh, did I disturb you? Huh? Oh, my. You're so warm. Bye-bye.